New at 11, scientists have been studying the problematic algae blooms in the Bay Area for the past few weeks. But today, they found huge amounts of dead fish around Bay Area waterways. All sorts of marine life was affected. A viewer sent us this picture from Lake Merritt. ABC 7 News reporter Ansar Hassan spoke to a scientist about the die-off. I was out there this morning around 8 a.m. and there's just a massive fish die-off going all around the shores of Lake Merritt. Instead of having sand on the beach, there's basically fish. Damon Tai, who works in biotech, says he saw thousands of dead fish, albeit some very tiny, along the water. From gobies to striped bass to bat rays, everything that needs oxygen is basically dying in the lake right now. The environmental watchdog group San Francisco Baykeeper says in early August, they started to get reports of red and brown water in the Oakland Alameda estuary. Scientists found it to be a red tide algal bloom. It emits a fish toxin and sucks the water of oxygen. Caused by an organism known as Heterosigma akashiwa. Senior scientist with San Francisco Baykeeper John Rosenfield says the algae are a normal part of the underwater ecosystem, usually at levels that are harmless. But Rosenfield says nutrients from the 40 wastewater treatment plants around the Bay Area are supercharging the algae to reproduce in huge quantities. But they don't pull out the nutrients that are in that water, the nitrogen and the phosphorus, and that's food for all the algae of the Bay. Rosenfield says the technology exists to remove the nutrients. The problem, it's hugely expensive, and it would likely require a politically charged policy change by the Regional Water Quality Control Board. The good news, the algae will likely die off on its own, especially in colder weather. But he worries of the longer term consequences, such as to endangered fish. He adds the algae doesn't pose a real threat to people or pets, but warns of prolonged contact with the discolored water. However, any algal bloom of this size and concentration produces enough chemicals that it can cause uh, health problems for people, including skin irritation and respiratory irritation to both people and pets. In Oakland, Ansar Hassan, ABC 7 News.